so I'm gonna this is an apartment tour and it's for and if anyone likes to watch apartment tours like I do or are you looking for ideas I'm a, in a studio in upper Manhattan and I have been working for the last month and a half on um, like getting rid of all my furniture so there's the furniture is the bed I guess there's other there's other things but so that's the idea it's like minimalist um, style all right, well, let's just start. Let's just start here. This is the bed. So, and uh, the curtain fell down, so I'm just leaving it, and it's it's fine. It's kind of nice, actually. A little bit of breeze, and, um, yeah. Uh, here's a painting so I can zoom out here on the bed area. Okay. There's the chalkboard. My cat is having a birthday party, so I'm getting the list ready. And here's the kitchen area. And these are the shoes that I have left. A couple boots and some flat shoes. And that's the cat's water. Okay. And as a painting that I recently did. And uh, the kitchen, this is, I have a couple of cups and um, measuring cups and my keys so I don't forget them. And like, I am really messy. So now I only have like uh, a couple dishes. So the messiest it can get isn't that messy. So here's some food. Just some rice. I, I learned how to make rice like really good recently. And uh, this has, has like some pans and stuff in it. Yeah, and then the refrigerator, there's like nothing left anymore. Fish sticks, those are good. And um, yeah, nothing's left because I just cleaned it out yesterday and it was really messy. So, and here's the kitchen. This is a just a little stove and I, that's my pan. I've just got this pan now. There were other pans, but I threw them away. So, and here we go. Pantry. There's some stuff up here. It's probably messy up here, but there's a couple dishes and stuff. Okay. The bathroom. Um, got some stuff and got a robe. I don't know why I'm showing up. But this is where Zeke likes to sleep. And they like to, to play in the bath. Yeah, they love to play with water. Okay. And let me zoom out a little bit so you can see what's going on in here. Got the bed. Everything. Yep. And then over here, this is the door out. And here's the closet. I'm going to show you the closet because it's kind of tetris -ed. That was kind of painful, actually. Getting everything, like throwing things away and just getting everything organized in there. But it's okay. And that's the clothes I have left, actually, because I got some really cool clothes. And some stuff. I got the record player still. It doesn't work, so I'm probably going to get rid of it. Um, got the vacuum. This is the... So this used to be where the TV was, and now... I've got candles and like part of this, I guess, is um, like related to the mind or spirit. And so I, I go through like phases of religion, I guess. I've been like atheist, like really atheist and like, um, like almost in a like romantic relationship with Jesus and and um, and Buddhist, you know, like, like but I, I think like lately more, um, I mean, I've been opening up to more Buddhist things lately. I, I get really Jesus-y and then maybe even close minded about it. And, um, but this is good book I've been reading lately, but it's, it talks about like, um, it talks about how like the all paths, there's lots of paths <clears throat> to God and, um, but choosing one path to go down is like, you have to, you have to do it. You have to choose a path to, to go down. Okay. So I, so it's not, it's, it's okay to like have your choice. Um, like if you want to focus on Jesus, I think it's totally okay. 
and it's it's okay that, that that's not how you do it too. And this is this part is talking about Ishwara, and Ishwara is like the face of God, and like I think the, like the Atman is like behind God, like the face of God is like God's ego, but it's perfect, and um, but like I just want to look at the face of God, like I I. Like the Atman isn't that like attractive to me right now. I don't like necessarily see why I would why I would want that. But um, but this one part I liked because he's talking about um, like Ishwara as like God and says um, if we set ourselves to serve Ishwara, if we dedicate our actions and surrender our wills to Him, we shall find that He draws us to Himself. This is the grace of God, which Sri Rama Krishna uh, compared to an ever blowing breeze. You only have to raise your sail in order to catch it. And in the Gita, we read, whatever your action, food or worship, whatever the gift that you give to another, whatever you vow to the work of the spirit, lay these also as offerings before me. Uh, this kind of devotion perhaps uh, requires perhaps a special temperament. It's not for everybody, but to be able to feel it is a very great blessing for it is the safest and happiest way to liberation. So I feel like it's, you know, it's okay if that's the way that, like, I want to go about things. Yeah, I don't, I mean, like, then I, it's not, like, so concerned about, like, if, do I have an ego? Do I, do I still have an ego or whatever? I, I'm sure I do because if I get drunk, I go on Twitter and talk about what a great mathematician I am. So I know that I do. I know that I do. But I guess it's, like, that's not really, uh, like, the main focus or, like, I'm not, like, trying to investigate that. But I probably am anyway. But ever since I've been 18, I'm, like, I want to be enlightened. Show me out. But anyway, so this is, there used to be a TV here, but now it's got some, I got some Jesus candles, got white roses and they smell so good. It's just like a, like a remembrance. Like when I walk in, just like light the candles. Also it's like entertainment and, and it's pretty to look at the candles and it's beautiful. And yeah, <clears throat> that's important to me. So, and now here we're at the entertainment center. So, so let me just give you a view of this. So, so we saw this and then this is just like the main area. Okay, this is like where I do like yoga and eat food and stuff. And it's the entertainment center and it is entertaining. So here's um, some more candles and like I have a, like a picnic um, blanket for like eating on. You know, maybe if I have a party or something, I don't know. And um, so over here I've got like everything and like I watch, I like to watch, uh, you know, TV and stuff watching the office yeah yeah like when I get home it's fun and then I got some you saw that painting over there I got some paints recently like some acrylics so I can just paint in here I got a few colors that I really like I'm gonna do several paintings in these colors and um, and I have like my notebook and pen and paper in here and I got the Bible and I got this like try and keep track of if I drink or not because I, I, yeah, I have, uh, I get it, like, I don't know, I get drunk really easily, so I try not to, I'm trying not to at all, but anyway, keep track if I do or not there, and I got paints here, I got my, all my supplies, tons of pens, everything else I need there, and it's great, and then I have newspaper here, and what else? Okay, then we got the cat area. And they're sleeping. Ooh, that's Eve. And Mr. Zeke is sleeping. Oh. So this is their area. And it's, it's so bad. They're very, very, like, very super clean. They're, I think, okay, here's their puzzles. Okay, and this is like my, the rest of my um, clothes are over here. So like I've pared down my clothes, but I feel like I have a lot of clothes now because I like all of them. But can you see this? Uh, let's see here. So this is just like pants and stuff and shorts and like leggings and then sweatshirts and stuff. I got some books. I have more books in my office, but you can see. I haven't read all these, but these are just the ones that survived. There's some number theory in there. And then this is my little nightstand, which everything is here. And I'm like so lazy. So it's so great. Just some little scraps of paper from whatever the game set. I don't know. Just fun stuff in there. 
some papers, I bet. Let's see here. And then I got just a little nightstand here. This is a rock that's really smooth. I really like it. And what else? Amsterdam. Someday I want to go to... Oh, fuck me. I can't tell if it's still going or not. It's still going. Okay. Yeah, I want to go to Amsterdam someday and be an artist there. And just... Oh, yeah. Got started on this one last night. Actually, I've already read it, but it's really good. This one, I found it, and then I, I, can't, I can't... I found it again, so I better read it. Anyway, that's just that stuff. And here we are, back to where we started. So let me just show you this. Yeah. So I might... I, have an, I even had an idea that I would, like, hold some classes in here. Um, like five people taking calculus on the floor. So I'm actually... It was fun. Anyway, thanks for listening, and um, um, I'll see you guys again. See you guys around town. All right, bye.